Hello everyone, I am here to explain you about modification of plant nutritional content, specifically vitamin A. Myself, Anvesh Vemula, Assistant Professor in Microbiology. Vitamin A is very essential for the survival or growth of cells in a multicellular organism. There are 124 million children worldwide are deficient in vitamin A. So this leads to deficiency or this leads to deficiency in 1 to million to 2 million deaths per year and it also causes vision impairment including night blindness and total blindness. The death because of deficiency of vitamin is due to lack of synthesis of immune cells in the human. So here we need to increase the intake of vitamin A into the individuals by genetically modifying the plants basically staple food has to be genetically modified in order to include vitamin A into their diet. So maximum people cannot consume carrot in bundles so that they can acquire much amounts of vitamin A. So here we have a solution of modifying the nutritional content of plant so that we can enhance the vitamin A content in those plants. So here the selected plant is said to be rice which is Oryza sativa uh, into which we can uh, introduce the entire pathway of vitamin A synthesis so that people can consume this rice as staple food in their routine life. The pathway you requires total of three different genes. One is daffodil phytoin synthase gene. Second one is phytoin desaturase. Third one is lycopene beta cyclase. These three genes are essential to convert the precursor into beta carotene. The beta carotene in the human system with the help of endogenous human gene is converted to vitamin A. The precursor molecule in this pathway is garanyl garanyl pyrophosphate which is which is converted to phytoin by the action of an enzyme called as phytoin synthase. This gene or this enzyme is obtained from daffodil. The phytoin again transferred into the converted into lycopene by the action of an enzyme called as phytoin desaturase which is obtained from a bacterium called as Ervinia uridovora. Lycopene is again converted to beta carotene by the action of enzyme called as lycopene beta cyclase which is again obtained from daffodil. daffodil. Beta carotene is finally converted into vitamin A with the help of human endogenous genes. So here we need to put three different types of genes or we need to construct a vector molecule containing three different types of genes which has to be transferred into the plants so that the rice will contain maximum amount of vitamin A. With this experimentation it is observed that little quantities of vitamin A is synthesized in the system so that the individual has to consume up to 1 k 3 kg of rice every day to satisfy the need of vitamin A. In order to avoid that situation, scientists have obtained the pathway from the corn where they observed the maximum production of a vitamin A that satisfied the, satisfies the requirement of uh, individual of vitamin A. So this rice which has been generated through this genetic modification is considered to be the golden rice which is currently available in the market. Thank you.